We want to turn to an NBC 10 exclusive. Our team of investigators spent weeks digging into the unsolved murder of Ruth Marie Terry, known for decades only as the Lady of the Dunes. Well, that changed when she was identified for the first time this week. And now we're learning more about where this investigation is headed. Let's go now to investigator Kathy Corrin, who broke the latest lead in this case. And Kathy, you're reporting new developments this evening. And Glenn and Priscilla, this case has taken investigators from the Dunes of the Cape to Tennessee, California, and Michigan. Sources tell us they're focusing on Ruth Terry's relationships, and tonight we look into the man she was married to months before she was killed. This just days after she was identified. We have identified the oldest unidentified homicide victim in Massachusetts. After 48 years of the unknown, science helped investigators put a name to the victim of a gruesome crime in the dunes of Provincetown back in 1974. Ruth Marie Terry was only known as the Lady of the Dunes until now. This achievement does mark an important milestone towards identifying Ruth's killer. Ruth Terry was born in Tennessee in 1936, and the NBC investigators have learned she married several times. According to this marriage certificate, six months before her body was discovered on the Cape, she exchanged vows with Guy Moldovan in Reno, Nevada, using a different name. Sources tell us Moldovan, who was also known as Raul Rockwell, has a questionable past, making headlines coast to coast. He was the focus of an investigation into the brutal killing of his wife and stepdaughter in Seattle in 1960, but was never charged with the murders. Newspaper reports at the time show after the women went missing, human remains were found in the septic tank of the family's home and business. Moldovan was front page news when he was arrested by the FBI in New York later that year and charged with unlawful flight for not giving testimony related to the mutilation of human remains. We know Ruth Marie Terry was also the victim of a very violent crime in P-Town. She died of a crushing blow to the head, was nearly decapitated, and her hands were severed. It's a case that's haunted Elisa Metcalf her entire life. Her sister Leslie, who has since died, discovered Terry's body. But it didn't really feel like we thought there was some murderer in our midst. It just seemed so uncharacteristic for Provincetown that it never occurred to us that the, the murderer would have been anything but some transient. And Ruth's family tells us they never stopped searching for her and even hired a private investigator to help. An obituary shows Guy Moldovan died in California in 2002 at the age of 78. The investigation into Ruth Marie Terry's case continues. Kathy Karn, NBC10 Investigators.